Man, look at the huge snowflakes coming down. I don't know if you're seeing how big these snowflakes are from the video yet, but uh, just circling around my front porch. Welcome back for another edition of Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul. With me is my buddy Finn. Had some errands to do. And uh, the weather's kind of yucky, but it's not as bad as the folks up in Philadelphia, New York, Boston. Uh, they're going to get significant. We got traced enough that I mean we as you can see the previous video uh, it was big huge snowflakes but as you look at if I flip this around as you can see we're supposed to get some rain it might mix a little but nothing might be slick in the morning but we got lucky the storm stayed north of us in Ohio um, northeast of uh, Cincinnati here in the city of Lebanon and this was our second attempt of getting any accumulation of snow and out of the two this was the least so New York Boston New Jersey Philadelphia prepare yourselves because it's coming this way it's coming your way so but uh, Finn was with was with me in the store and over at Walmart and uh, he was great he doesn't give me any trouble do you buddy flip this around Finn see yeah you're a good boy no no I'm driving so A little overcast. It was flurries, a little bit more than flurries when I left the house, but now looks like all rain. I missed the rain, but uh, I'm fine. Um, work's been keeping me extremely busy. I mean, today it was non stop. I mean, I was so busy, I didn't have time to for anything, you know, use restroom or anything like that it's just slam one incident after another uh, but the good news is tomorrow's Friday or I'm not sorry tomorrow's Thursday that will be my last day at work because um, as of Thursday night I'm on vacation until the end of the month until I don't report back until the 29th which is a Tuesday so I took vacation starting on the 18th and include I was lucky to get my birthday off as well so a uh, personal holiday for that so I was grateful for that and uh, I could use another break from work 
try to prepare, you know, uh, for what I do for someone else to do. So, uh, other than that, uh, ooh, snow plow behind me, but I'm fine. Uh, nothing else much going on. I'm, I'm behind them watching other people's channels that I'm subscribed to. Um, including Smokey, Steve, and Mark. Um, I bought the ingredients that you guys left behind for the uh, pumpkin cake. Uh, my son's birthday is tomorrow, so we're going to make that one of the cakes he wanted. So we're going to make that. He also wanted uh, cheesy hash browns for dinner tomorrow. And I don't know what else I'll be fixing, so I'll figure it out. But... Um, Maybe 17. Man, time flies. I get pictures from Facebook when he's seven years ago, and he was nothing what he looks like now. So, um, I'm proud of him. He's had a rough way to go at times, and he's figured it out. Figured out what he wants to do. He wants to stick with music. So, um, I've been encouraging with that as long as the grades are up. Uh, Melissa, same way, and um, uh, pulling into the driveway here at the house, at the homestead. So, I'll continue on inside. See you a bit. Hey, welcome back. With, let's talk with Melissa and Paul. Told you I'd be back from the car. Got the groceries all put away. It is currently 34 degrees in Cincinnati, or out Cincinnati slash Lebanon, Ohio. Uh, there's a light wintry mix going on. It's going to be on for a little while. Sunsets at 514. So, how are you? Uh, as I was saying before, I'm going to be on vacation so for a good 10 days. Um, I'm going to have some fun. Um, I'm going to enjoy, we've got some family time coming up, uh, we're getting together with my brother-in-law and sister-in-law and my in-laws, um, uh, over at my brother-in-law's house, he's got a huge, uh, man cave, it's big enough where we had, could all have masks on and have good separation, um, but still get together with a family. Uh, going to do that prior of Christmas Eve. Um, so, uh, we normally go to my uh, in-law's house for the holidays, but, you know, COVID-19. Vaccines are out. It's all over the news. Whether or not, you know, how soon gets down to my level. January, February, I don't know. Uh, as long as I know I'm going to be getting one soon, uh, I'm, I'm happy I can wait my turn or my lottery number for it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how they're doing it in other states. Um, but the well-deserved um, wor uh, health care workers and the critical patients are up first, so... Um, so, Cincinnati Hospital, UC, um, was the first to give one out on, on, in our area here. So, so I'm going to wait my turn. I'm going to be patient still, keep my distance, have my mask on whenever I go out. So, it should be interesting. But, I did find out that we haven't had a white Christmas in our area since 2017 seems longer than that to me but it's what I've been told we haven't had a winter we've had winter advisories but we have not had winter warnings uh, for the data that I saw for almost two plus years which is I thought was interesting I'm more the fan of the I like I used to like winter but until my body is slowly rejecting it. It wants warmer weather these days, you know, arthritis. Um I'm gonna hit the big five one this year. So um yeah, I, and once the uh 
Samuel graduates, you know, who knows? I, I don't know. Um, it's a family decision. I'm trying, I'll see about moving someplace warmer, but uh, until Samuel graduates another year, you know, that's on a back burner. At least moving into a warmer climate. Um, what else do I have on the docket today? Oh, man. It's been kind of nice. And, uh, I am, yeah, like I said before, I am way behind on my YouTube watching. Um, but I'll catch you up this weekend. Oh, yeah, Cynthia Beaumont. It's not the Beaumont Files today, but apparently she, uh, gonna turn 50 here soon so i'm a year older wow hard to believe so and she is pumping out the videos left and right uh so many videos today one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 11 videos, and that's up to between now and 11 hours ago, and then there's a, another one at uh, 17 hours ago, so, and that one, 17 hours ago, oh, yeah, I didn't miss that, I know with your, uh, her video, let's see what she put. Top secret. Another top secret. Everything's a secret with this woman. You know. She ought to go into journalism and start being working on a newspaper or something. With some of these top secrets. Conspiracy. People are out to get me. I don't know. But 11 videos in one day. That's too much. I'm sorry. Eventually it's. You look at it like blah blah blah. The vlog miss stuff. It looks like, okay, she's got two for her birthday, and then they're averaging one for herself and one for the cats. It's like, how much further more are you going to go? I don't know. That's another day. But all I can tell you is watch out for the snowstorm that's coming your way. Because it's not going to be pretty. Uh, let's see here. Uh, got a comment. Uh, thank you for joining, uh, the folks that have recently joined our channel. Um, we're still a work in progress channel. Um, trying to get, uh, what's our identity, what's, what works, what doesn't work. Um, I'm trying to get, eventually, I'm going to be doing more of a podcast every week or every few days doing something about a given topic. It's like a, a discussion without having an audience next to me to do Q&A with. Um, I know one of the, the few topics that I'm going, I've got written down and preparing is customer service post-COVID-19 and during COVID-19. Um, the other is on mental health. Um, I'm not an expert in it, but I've been dealing with it since real bad since 2018. Um, I like to go over it with that. Um, so we'll cover that in the upcoming videos and a few others. Um, Melissa's good with the, uh, the shopping halls and Dollar Tree, Walmart, Kroger's or whatever. Uh, and other videos that we might come up with our animals or whatever work we are doing as a family or as a group. Um, I know I'm going to be doing a video. Um, it'll be a little tough for me. Um, I'm just strange for my immediate family. Uh, my mother is left and my brothers and sisters. And, and um, it's mainly for my benefit, not so much what they've done. It's just that less chaos for me to be dealing with um 
I'm going to be talking about a little bit about what we usually do on my side of the family on Christmas Eve, pretty soon, in the next coming few days. Um, what we did as a tradition, it was a tradition that lasted, you know, a little over 100 years, uh, but according to my grandmother now. Um, and she's long gone, rest her soul, and I miss my grandfather real bad. He was my dad's stepfather when he married in the family. When the kids moved out, he married my grandmother. And um, I got along with him. He considered me his favorite. And out of Because we had so many great... He, they had so many grandkids. And now, I could be biased, but according to him... The only reason he really liked me because I I'd never had my hand out constantly. I want, I want, I want. I was always grateful just to spend time with them. So uh, we'll be doing that up here pretty soon. Um, I like to get oh going back to Christmas. Uh, white there hasn't been a white Christmas. Yeah, I like to. I'm more of a fan of. Um, and typically, that's what we get here in Cincinnati at times is one big major st snowstorm during the season for last for two three days, get about three four inches, and and then it's brutal cold weather the rest of the winter. Uh, it's usually what um, normally happens around here if it does snow. Uh, I grew up in the city of Chicago. I actually grew up. Uh, south of Chicago uh, in a town called Cicero, Illinois. Um, home of Ernest uh, Hemingway and controlled by, for the lo longest time, Al Capone. And uh, there are one, five minutes from the house I grew up in, there was a house on uh, 16th in Austin, there were bullet holes on through there. That claim, supposedly, rumor had that it came from that time period of Al Capone. I'm not saying Al Capone or his gang made those holes. It just, they're bullet holes from that time period. Um, kind of strange because, uh, you know, uh, you had Geraldo did this big vault thing, you know. Al Capone's vault and then turned out to be nothing in the darn thing. Uh, there is a lot of underground tunnels underneath between Cicero, Berwyn, up to the Des Plaines, North Riverside, uh, right down to the Des, Des Plaines River. And I, there's been known, I know, I remember growing up, there was a house I heard that collapsed because the tunnels collapsed underneath it. They didn't even know it was there. So... Uh, it was interesting growing in a town called Cicero. Cicero, at back in the 70s, 80s, I'll say, during that period that I can remember as a child, was very racist. Very racist town. They didn't let anybody outside of whites uh, pretty much live in the town. Uh, African Americans, have. there's been a few families who tried to move in. And they, mobs kind of shoved them all out, unfortunately. And um, I'm not proud of that. Part of my history growing up, happened to deal with it. Um, there was a, I remember as a kid sitting across the street at a friend's house. There was like four or five of us on the stoop just talking and walking by was a drunk African American. I mean, I don't know how he was walking. I mean, he smelled so bad, and you could tell he was just pure drunk. I don't know if he was high, but he was pure drunk. And the house that we were sitting at was an apartment complex, and the pro uh, the property manager uh, was uh, their dad was a cop, and for his safety. We think he was lost. Apparently, they uh, a squad car came by, found where where he needed to go, needed assistance. Uh, us kids thought they were going to take them to a hospital or something, let them dry out. But for what rumor has it, and I can't confirm it, that 
he was taken back to the other side, to the city limits of Chicago, and he was on his way. The next day, uh, on that same stoop, we weren't there, but, you know, as kids, we roam around the neighborhood. They, we were out in front of the house, but on my side of the street, and there was this car flying down the street, like you wouldn't believe, Central, uh, Central Avenue, flying down there, and the person, I, I, I'm going to sign this guy up for a picture, because he threw a homemade grenade, but it wasn't a grenade, but it was some kind of bomb that he threw, and it landed on the stoop in front of the door, and the only damage it did was put a huge mark, white spot on the, uh, sidewalk it was there I don't know that mark never went away for a long time but it eventually it did no one was hurt uh, they never came back we assumed that it was because they thought we might have called the police I mean us kids didn't do it but a parent called the police and picked them up now what happened to that individual boggles the mind, but that's kind of, you give an idea of how Cicero was back in the 70s and 80s. Uh, eventually, the federal government got involved and said, look, we're going to cut off funding if you don't have any minorities working in the township, which means you had to live in the city limits. So, um, it's taken years for that to change around. Now, uh, I haven't been there in, what? I haven't been back home in Cicero since 99, I think. I take that back. I've been there once since 1999. Uh, my dad passed away in 99. Uh, I think I was there. My mother remarried, uh, I don't know, two years, a year, two years, three years. I don't know, somewhere in that period. Um... It was after 9-11, of co- uh, so it might have been a year or two after 9-11, um, but I haven't been back since. Uh, to me, Cincinnati, City 11, it's, it's almost like country life to me, almost. Um, that's kind of why I enjoyed it. Um, do I miss, I miss certain aspects of the city of Chicago. I really do. Uh, food for one. There's some ethnic foods and stuff that you never get used to eating it someplace else, like pizza. Their deep dish, regular pan, pizza. La Rosa's comes close, but that's about as best I can get to a Chicago. Now, Kroger sells home run in pizzas, uh, cheese, pepperoni, and there's pepperoni and sausage. Um, it's not quite eating uh, a pizza in Chicago, but it's the best frozen pizza that I can come to of eating from the city of Chicago. Um, my dad knew the owners or the brothers of the family who ran the uh, home run in. Um, on, one's on the city in, on 31st Street, and I think the other one's in Palatine, Illinois. Uh, I haven't been in their restaurants in t- over 20 years. Um, it's a nice Italian restaurant. Uh, the biggest hangout in Cicero for pizza-wise was Al's Pizza. Uh, I know... A lot of people. It was some famous chain. It was not a chain, but it's a famous pizza in town that everybody loved. Um, went there. Uh, Melissa didn't care for the food. Um, she tried some clam dish, and it wasn't. It wasn't the same as eating her clam pasta and clams over at uh, the old spaghetti factory. They had the actual clams sitting there, some in the the shell, some out of the shell. The sauce wasn't quite the same. Eh, You get expectations of certain food. Um, 
I can understand that. So, uh, there was a couple of other chains in the Cicero Berwyn area that had decent pizza, but Al's was usually typically the busiest and uh, the most, the one that was still around. I think is still around. So, I tried to get them to send me some frozen pizzas up this way. They're not set up for that. They uh, not doing that and. Other than that, a bunch of bars you find around the city, uh, and including Cicero, you got hot dog stands. Vienna beef. The shredded beef, a beef on a Kaiser roll dipped in the juice sauce uh, with uh, sweet uh, and uh, hot peppers. Mmm. Can't beat it. World famous uh, Briona beef. You can look that up if you like. Um... Yeah, they almost compared to you had a, a bar almost every other corner. You had a hot dog stand pretty much close to the same thing. So, and my life growing up, I liked it. Um, I, I do remember um, growing up, I went to a parochial school, kindergarten through eighth grade, uh, Redeemer Lutheran. It's closed now. I think it's been closed for 15 plus years. Uh, the elders, and I say the elders that ran the church, ran it into the ground. They were uh, a bit old-fashioned, how they wanted their services, how they wanted things run. Tradition. I mean, it was around for hundred-some years. You know, it worked back then, it's going to work now. The only thing is they didn't like the young people's ideas about the church and how to keep it going and expanding they kind of shut them out they couldn't get into on the board they didn't want them to be in charge of any activities um to give you an idea the gymnasium in that school um had no heat in that part of the building but it was just a little they had four imagining cinder blocks around a volleyball court just enough to hit around the whole entire official volleyball court and the ceilings were about 20 25 feet up high i mean extremely high and they had windows um the bar bar wired type windows that's bedded in the windows and that was our gymnasium for the school not you know, basketball, volleyball, whatever activities we could do inside. I remember as a, I remember my first day as a kindergarten going in there. I didn't want to go. Eh, what kid likes to go, leave his uh, parents and go straight to uh, a classroom every day? <laughs> uh, I went to a public high school. That was a dramatic. Uh, my parents couldn't afford to send me to a Lutheran college. I mean, Lutheran High School. So I went to public right off the bat. Talk about a culture shock. Um, I struggled for the first two years. I mean, I my grades were the pits. Um, I, you know, D's. Uh, I might have a C in there uh, somewhere. Uh, I played freshman football. Uh, they combined and changed activities um, with the, the school was broken down to east and west. I was at the east location. And so then they combined the varsity sports to for both schools. Uh, I didn't make the, um, the foot, my sophomore year football. Uh, I got my basics out of the way. And then my junior, senior years, I had uh, class. I took all computer classes. I took uh, computer-aided drafting since sophomore year. I uh, got a certificate from the state of Illinois as the, winning a fourth place in a contest, a uh, drafting contest for the, for the state. Um, I was a journalist uh, junior, senior year. I was on the school paper. Um, so I, I had... I struggled. My last two years, I pulled out. I was on the honor roll. Uh, I pulled out a strong B plus, A minus. My last two years, because computers came natural to me. You know, 
So, and that's kind of what I'm into now. So, um, I'm currently an operations manager. So, um, for a uh, IT consultant that is uh, got a client here in the uh, Cincinnati area. So, uh, but yeah, you got a little bit of history about how I grew up a little bit, uh, what I'm doing now. So I'm looking forward to any questions you might have uh, about me, Melissa, or the family. Um, put them in the comment section, and I will do a video and reply back if I didn't reply back in the comment section. Um, but I do read the comments. Uh, Melissa and I both do. So we enjoy your comments. Um We'll try to make this more, you know, frequent. You're not. I'm not going to be a Cynthia Beaumont with. I'm going to be pumping out eleven videos per day. There's rare occasions where you'll see me put out more than one video, depending on what I'm doing, what I have time to process, clean up, you know. Um, but I don't have a set schedule of. Oh, on this date I'm going to do this. On this day I'm going to do that. You know, I. It's not me. I tend to be more on the fly, um, trying to get more organized. <sighs> um, but I, you know, there's other priorities that kind of set up, but I do want to make this podcast a priority a little bit, uh, at least for me, because it will help me with my anxiety and my depression. Um, talking about it or talking some, communicating about something. According to my therapist, she loved the idea and supports me. Um, so that's about it that I can think of right now. So I appreciate you watching. If you don't mind, hit the like button and subscribe to us, uh, as the end comment always says. Um, more the merrier. I'm not out to make money on this channel, but I do, you know ultimate goal is to grow subscribers so I see what I can do but I'm going to do it in a um, at the pace that it's going to allow me to do so I don't believe that pumping out you know 11 videos is going to boost someone's boost my subscribers but I do have various different topics that I like will eventually will get into and we'll see how they go I mean, pretty much you go with how the audience dictates um, how you want to proceed. So, thank you very much. Uh, stop raining. It's cloudy out there. So, I'm looking out the window on both sides of my screen here. Um, I'm sure that it's going to freeze up. Might get some ices out, ice patches out there. So, be careful of that black ice, folks. So... And you can see Emma's crashed on the chair. That's where she's at normally. Unless I'm in the other room, then she pl plops right in there. So, all right, I'll let you go. I've um, been drinking that on too much. So, thank you very much. Always stay um, humble and kind. And let's be careful out there. Take care. If you have enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest context. And check out the other great clips on Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul on the YouTube network. Thank you.